When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey! Can't I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Kotalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we gonna do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you, too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Akaro. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenith. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, Meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. That sounded important. Over here, Aloy. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times, we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and... Further east, to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy. 
But I tracked down the flower. Gathered its seeds. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow. Still the sea rises as certain stone from death follows new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. I'm with child, Eloy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. and watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... for not giving up on me. He always knew. to look after them. I'll try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. I will now use it on the sun ring. And get ready for an entrance for God will never forget. Always kicking my ass. Override installed. Now to find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. Focus. It's Forles. I used to think no Nora would ever accept one. But Forl did. Even when he was overwhelmed, he refused to let me push him away.
idea. Okay, I need to find a someone to override. Better head up the mountain. Good. There are sunwings up here. We'll have to approach them quietly. Hilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. There's a tall neck. We need to get on top of its head. Now, how to land this thing? Matilda, I've overridden the tall neck. Good. And the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on the forest. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help.
Where's the energy cell? Right on the Titan's back. Got the cell. Now on to the grove. Close from the Tarmac should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any horse I fly to. Be useful. Even after I deal with the bell. Over Chaplin. I gotta drop it now. Here it goes. your knees and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! <laughs> Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're on top of a machine. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. This fight is just beginning! Oh! 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 
It ends. Yeah, it is. You die here and now. Child of the weak. I need more. I will paint this hollow soil with your blood.
your challenge. I once slew three. <laughs> 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 All you are! If you offered your blood, I spit it to the soul! Here I am again, on my knees before bootlets and cowards. Go ahead, run me through. Shut your mouth, traitor. It was you who flew in on the wings of the Ten. You who challenged her by our rights. You must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She's dangerous, all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die, I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes, but there's another battle ahead against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people, a squad, that's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold, in the mountains near Plainsong. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there's something you both need to see. In the throne room. surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, state it. It's for her alone. From an interested party. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. 
With Regalagon, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. May it keep you safe. Thank you. Do you have any idea what you've just done? Oh, it's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Xenos. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we're up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. Go on. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Tilda, you there? I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. Now that I can fly, I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. Yeah, my whole squad is. <laughs> what? Your spectators? That helps me send it straight, Pablo. Aloy is here. Had a good run at the hunting ground. I'm grateful, Aloy. Earned a half All right. So, Carl keeps his head. Bodies of the world. Good thing I have a little bit of a little Hikaru has united the clans once again. My strength is yours. Walk with honor. Hey, uh, Mr. Know-It-All is here. You know, your focus buddy who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silence, looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Zenith base? You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. 
at the Hades Proofing Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, well, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Oh, no. You first. Better get everyone in the control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. I'm, uh, gonna clean my gear later. I can do yours if you want. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Don't mention it. Did you need something? Just you wait, Far. We're taking those space lights down. Okay, maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before that? All right, people, I need you up in the control room right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. 
Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones, scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You two? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right, but why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. Okay. Almost time to go after Beta and Gaia. Might be good to check up on everyone first. weapon to the Zenith base intact if we want to take their shields down. Aloy, are we meeting at the beach near the Zenith base? We are. I just wanted to check in on everyone first. We're finally doing this. Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals from the stars. I can hear the drinking songs already. Oh, earlier you mentioned something about Tanakh rebels and the Asaram, but we never really talked about it. I'm just saying, if you want to discuss it, you, you let me know. Faro made the right call, you know, bringing you here. Thanks. Yeah, Varro. You know, I never knew he had a sister. I found out a few days before you guys went to the Gemini. I was, uh, well, to be honest, I was terrified I'd screw up the mission somehow. So he 
sat me down for a drink, just one, mind you, and we talked about family. Vala, Ursa, loss and revenge, and how you helped us. You know, we never did get that drink you promised back in the Embrace. And you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. I guess we never got round to it. World ending and all. No time like the present, though. If you're up for it. I guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. With my hammer ready. I wouldn't have it any other way. Aloy, we're ready to meet you at the rendezvous point whenever you call. Fighting the Xenus isn't going to be easy. Nothing you do ever is. At least, now you don't have to do it alone. Thanks. Have you talked to any of our new friends? Erend and I tried speaking to Silence, but apparently our tribal prattle is unnecessary. Charming, isn't he? How's Aaron doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. But he never truly succumbed to despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. I should go. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. What is it? You placed this focus in my care, and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. For the both of us. So? Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home, okay? So, in return... Bravo. You managed to sway a zenith to your side. Care to explain? Not a chance. I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. But that's not why you're here. I assume you want to comprehend my undertakings. So, ask away. Since when were you so forthcoming? Since you turned this into a waiting game. And as it seems you have found modest success. Perhaps I'm willing to be generous. Okay, so your big plan, everything you've been manipulating for the last few months. Let me see if I got this straight. You learned about the Zenith from Hades when you interrogated it. Then you came up with a plan to defeat them by using a Tanakh army and that weapon. And to get the Tanakh to fight for you, you, or rather the sons of Prometheus, armed Regala's rebels with override tech. Did you have an actual question, or are you still playing catch-up? So all this time, even before I found the coordinates at the Spire, you were out here scheming. Why couldn't you just tell me? When I learned of the Zenith's return to Earth, I laid out my plans. I knew I would one day require an army of overzealous Tanakh to assault the Zenith base. The casualties would be... Extreme. And I knew you would never allow such a sacrifice, no matter how necessary. Thus, I devised a means to remove your interference from the equation. At the Hades Proving Lab. Tell me about the weapon. How does it work? I've upgraded the delivery system. It now emits a wave-like effect covering a significant distance. <sighs> that doesn't fully answer my question. No. But I'd be a fool to reveal its inner workings. After all, why did you withhold your plan for dealing with the Zenith drones? Yes. Even you can appreciate the value of secrecy when warranted. 
Suffice it to say that the weapon will work. The intricacies of how is knowledge that is mine alone. Why help Regala take over? If you wanted an army, you could have just gone to Hakaro. Before Regala's rebellion, Hakaro was only concerned with battling machines and fostering friendships with Akarja. Even if I gained his ear, he would never agree to send his forces to battle a threat he couldn't understand. So helping a bloodthirsty exile was easier? Yes. Exceedingly so. All Regala craved was war against the Karja and anyone who threatens the Tanakht. She would have led the tribe into battle without question, which was precisely what I needed. You wanted me to surrender to the Xenos at the Hades Proving Lab. They almost killed me. Based on everything I knew about them, I concluded they would find you a useful asset. Thereby keeping you out of harm's way, and more importantly, out of my way. So you really didn't know they had their own clone of Elizabeth? No. Unfortunately, there was no way I could have known that particular detail. Detail? Well, I guess if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here today. Why create the Sons of Prometheus? You didn't need a bunch of Osirum tinkerers to make override tech. They were a necessary safeguard. My time serving Hades and the Eclipse demonstrated the risks of getting directly involved. Through the Sons of Prometheus, I could execute my plans. All while remaining anonymous. While I was out there, I had a couple run-ins with the Quen. The tribe from across the ocean. And? Their entire tribe was shaped around the discovery of focuses. One of them, Alva, even joined me here. Don't you want to know more about them? No. They stumbled upon the greatest technological artifact from the ancient world, and what did they do with it? They shrouded the knowledge they unearthed in mysticism and taboo, creating a pantheon out of corporate shields. Yes, well, it also led them to Thebes. Did it now? So those run-ins with the Quen I mentioned. On one of them, I teamed up with their expedition to search Thebes. We found Pharaoh at the end. You must have needed Omega clearance. So, what was it like? Worse than you can imagine. He single-handedly wiped out collective human knowledge. I'm sure it was still less than he deserved. Let me guess. You would have scraped him into a jar so you could prod his brain, like what you did with Hades. For a start. All right, Silence. I think I've talked to you long enough. I'll let you know when it's time to go. And try not to mess with Tilda while you're in here, okay? I don't need the two of you butting heads. Ah, uh, yes. About your Zenith ally. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're dealing with. For someone to live as long as she has, outlast as many calamities, well... Your goals may be aligned now, but I'd watch for the moment they diverge. Yeah, I'm aware. Reminds me of someone else I know. Survival is only a necessity to my greater purpose, Aloy. I'd hoped you'd recognize that by now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this, you just call it... a feeling. Oh, a feeling? You mean you finally had one? Huh. Guess even you can change, Silence. Hold on. I think I'm getting it. 